Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, sorry I've been away for a, a few days, but um, you know, life obviously happens sometimes and uh, we, we had a little bit of a getaway in, um, in, in another place in this country. So uh, I'm back to it now. And today we're gonna to be checking out, as you've probably already seen, uh, Nightwish uh, with Storytime. I am following the list that I was recommended to follow. Um, so I am doing the, the live one from the same concert that we did the Ghost Love Story from. Um, this one's a shorter song. I'm really excited to see what this one's going to be about. Um, I will put the closed captions on um, just because um, to save me flicking between the lyrics and then because apparently the, the closed captions are quite accurate. So um, I just don't want to miss anything that's being said really with the performance. So without further ado, we'll get straight into this video. I think it's time for a little story. It's definitely story time. Wow, this is amazing. This is incredible. Such a different vibe from the last song as well. Um, so it's called Story Time. It starts off as in like almost like a, um, an, an author reading a story, telling a story to somebody. Um, obviously, um, there's, there's references to um, basically sitting by the fire. Um, and, and, and sort of reading, which um, you, you tend to get, uh, you know, that's where you tend to do your reading in, in the, the living room by or reading room by the fireplace and things like that. Um, I like the references to Neverland with Peter Pan, which is obviously they mentioned about the the the, the man, uh, childlike man. Um, I think it was something like that. Basically, I know on the last one, people were saying that it, um, the, the writer... Um, always uh, goes on about uh, childhood innocence and uh, trying to keep that and Neverland with the lost boys the, the 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 boy that never grew up Peter Pan but then they also mention about uh, Peter Pan's empty crib so like he's has he gone and he's, he's grown up and, and life and the world's got in the way now and you know sadly you do have to grow up that there is references with with that and I like how they they're entwining different stories into this song obviously story time should have figured that something but such a catchy chorus as well and she's really rocking out with this I, i'm going to take it back because I, I absolutely love that chorus and i like unframed by poetry a canvas of awe i, I like that just just as i said it's it's like spoken word it's like poetry not not you, you can't just call this a song. It's an experience, it's a performance, it's art. That's what this is. But yeah, I'm, I'm taking this right back, apologies. Let it earth, but I can't do this. 
I love that verse. There was mention and reference to Follow the Madness, Alice once did, so Alice in Wonderland, a um, little reference to that. I also liked, there was another There was another line um, about the, the lips that intoxicate. So the, the lips that are, I interpret that as when you're reading a story out, it's your words that are leaving your mouth and your lips. So that they're, they're they're intoxicating. They're they're drawing you in, and and you know that that's what I interpreted that bit as. But it's just absolutely fantastic. This I really really love that, and I like the I'm the journey and the destination um, and the home. I'm I'm, I'm everything in one. I'm you, I will take you on a journey. I'm the end result when you get there. Um, you know, and and the and the comfort of the home as well I, I'm, I'm just all all in one that's what I'm sort of reading into with that Before we go into this bit, I, there was another line I forgot to mention before. The um, limitless chest of tales, um, which to me suggests that there's so many stories that you can you can sort of create. It's, it's just endless. So it, it could be on about, uh, I'll obviously sum it up at the end as well, but um, could it be somebody sort of telling you to go out and find your dreams you know follow the madness like alice once did so go out write your own story and the the the, the possibilities are endless is that what that means i'll take this back for the instrumentation and i'll try not to pause too much for the end of the song now i know i've paused a lot at the at the moment <laughs> the choirs.
Wow. What an ending. What a build up to the ending of that song. Her vocals are just incredible. From the, the softer, high pitch oohs and ahs that she was doing, then the power came in and the little bit of grit undertone that she had in her voice to just absolutely belting it out. She can do everything. She can absolutely do everything. She's got the attention and the whole band, obviously, as well, um, with the just the, the epic, massive sound that they've got. They they could turn heads in a room straight straight to them, just bring attention to themselves. What an experience that must have been to, to be there live. I mean, this is incredible. I mean, it's only my second reaction, second song I've ever heard by them, but this one was fantastic. I love just the sort of analogies, the empty crib of uh, Peter Pan, the, um, the memory of Never Never Land, I think it was, something like that. Um, and then talking about the soaring kite into in the light blue skies, which it's it's all just sort of dreamlike and when you see a kite in the distance they're just so elegant and just taken by the wind and just just taken and they're, they're, they're sort of free in a certain sense that they've got a little bit of freedom but they're still being held on to by the the rope you know the string as well so you you might have the feeling that you're free but you're never really fully free to explore as a as a kite is that a really weird <laughs> um interpretation i'm not sure but um, I appreciate all of you for sticking around for this one. Um, I've really, really enjoyed it. Like I say, I will be doing more. I'll be going down the list and checking out many more by Nightwish um, in the near future. But um, if there's one you want me to get to first uh, over the others, then let me know and I'll find it on the list and do the exact video that I should be doing. I appreciate every single one of you for subscribing and commenting on the last video that I did. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.